30-year-old debate champion, influencer, content creator, wakil anak muda Malaysia. What makes Syed Sadeh an engaging communicator and one of Asia's best speakers? Let's break it down. The voice of our generation, we all know and respect 30-year-old politician YB Syed Sadeh and his ability to connect with his audience. But the question is this, how is he so confident even when he needs to speak up against people who are much older and experienced than him? Why do hundreds and thousands of Malaysians follow him on social media even when he has video transitions like this? I'm just kidding. In the next 5 to 10 minutes, let's talk about 5 things that makes Syed Sadiq the speaker and communicator he is. Number 1. Authenticity Syed Sadiq comes across as a very genuine and sincere speaker. Being authentic is very important as a speaker, especially to build trust and credibility with your audience. So how you can practice authenticity in your communication? Well, one way we can learn from YB Syed Sadiq is by sharing personal stories and being vulnerable with your audience. He has opened up about his family's financial struggles before, his depression and even the loss of his pet. So most of us, if not all, do go through similar challenges in life, right? So being authentic will help you be more relatable and approachable with your audience. Number two, confidence. I think we can all agree, YB Sai Sadi exudes confidence when he speaks, which helps to command the attention and make a very strong impression. You have seen it, right? In parliament, in his speeches, the way he just gestures in his speech, According to a Harvard Business School study, here's how to look confident even if you don't feel confident. Number one, maintain eye contact with any one of your audience. When you maintain eye contact with the person you are speaking, this will show that you're attentive and engaged. Like lock eyes, you know. It also conveys a sense of honesty and sincerity. Number two, stand up straight. Or if you're sitting, lean forward. Number three, smiling. This will help to convey warmth, approachability and positive vibes you will also appear to be more likeable and trustworthy. The third thing you can learn from YB is knowledgeable. Gen Y and Gen Z holds more than 50% of the population. Our collective voice on a minimal takes up 30% of the voter base in Malaysia. As you can see in this clip, Syed Sadeh is well informed about the topics he speaks about and is able to provide insights and analysis that are insightful and informative. So he's not just speaking like a tin kosong, you know. He has a deep understanding of political and social issues and is able to explain them in a way that is not too technical but is also accessible to his audience. As the saying goes, knowledge is power. Facts are facts. The more info you have on a certain topic, the more confident and certain you can speak about it. Moreover, in every presentation or speech, usually there's a Q&A session, right? So knowledge will help you to anticipate and answer potential questions that your audience might have. So when you are well informed about your topic, you can address their concerns and provide valuable insights which will further demonstrate your expertise and strengthen your message. So with that being said, never stop learning and make sure you do your homework before presenting or even giving a speech. The fourth thing you can learn is his humour. Sai Zadeh is known for his sense of humour and often uses it to lighten the mood or break the tension during his speeches. So when you inject humour in your speeches, this will help to create a very relaxed and enjoyable atmosphere. I mean, if you really think about it, nobody wants to be too formal, right? We all just want to have some fun and when you can include some jokes, it really helps to get your audience to engage and connect with you during a speech or your presentation. So one type of joke that I always use is a self-depreciating joke. So this is when you make yourself the target of the joke and get people to laugh at you. For me, it's my height. I'm not the tallest guy in the room, lah, okay? I'm 165 centimeters. So sometimes what I do is I go like this. Uh, for those at the back, I apologize. I know because of my height, you can't see me, but it's okay. I'll try my best to tiptoe occasionally. All these little jokes here and there can actually be a very effective way to show humility and connect with your audience. And last but not least, passion. As you can see, YB Sai Sade is deeply passionate about the causes he speaks about. And this comes across in his speeches. You can feel it, right? Every time he speaks in parliament, He's able to convey a sense of urgency and importance which can inspire people to take action and get involved in creating positive change. So passion is very, very important in speeches because it also helps to create an emotional connection. Now, this is the key, emotional connection with your audience. Let's look at sales for example. People right, don't actually buy into a product just because the features are great. 
The main reason people buy something is because of how that thing makes them feel. So it's all about emotion, okay? So five things to note about Syed Sadeh on how you can communicate more effectively. Next, let's take a look at how our Malaysian Prime Minister, Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim speaks. Now this man is one of my favorite speakers and communicators out there. So if you're interested to learn from him, make sure to check out this video as well. Hit the subscribe and like if you got some value from this. And always remember friend, the person who speaks up stands out. I'll see you in the next one.